Hi guys, it's Jillian from onceuponatimefitness.com and today I wanted to show you some actual footage of how I am able to build a relationship with a student, a brand new student to me that I've never taught before using props. Now before I get started, I did want to let you know real quick that I have a fitness challenge group that is starting like right now. So if that's something that you're interested in doing and you'd like to join our fitness challenge group, just go down and click the link below and that will get in touch with me and then that way I can first come first serve. I've only got three discount codes, but I can get you into the challenge group with us. And I have a challenge. I have a challenger last week that legit lost 15 pounds in one month. And she, she came to me and she was like, oh my goodness. She's like, I lost so much weight. I was so proud of her. Like, so proud of her. She worked so hard and she did it healthy and, and anyways, here we go. So when you're doing a trial or you're working with a new student, and today I'm not going to show you a trial because I don't have any trial students to show you. I don't teach trials anymore as a general rule. But when you're working with a new student and you'd like them to come back to you, you really want to make sure that you can like build some sort of relationship between you and the student and you and the student's parents anybody that's in that room, you want them to really feel like you are invested in them and they are invested in you. And you want them to come back for more classes. One of the ways that you can do this is by finding things that are going to help the child open up to you. So today I'm going to show you how I use a simple prop by being observant of the child's environment. And I was able to use this prop, make her feel more comfortable in the classroom and just have a lot of fun. You can hear that we're, she's laughing so hard in this. My classes are always so much fun. And this is one of the tricks that I use to really get the kids to enjoy class. You're five years old and you're sitting here in front of an iPad. You don't want to sit here like, I like bananas. I like apples. No, we don't like potatoes, teacher. I don't like potatoes. You want to have fun with class, right? I mean, I want to have fun and I'm a teacher. So I'm sure my little five-year-olds want to have fun. So that's what I try to do. I try to provide a really fun environment because kids learn through play, especially when they're really, really little. And we want to be able to encourage that play while they're learning so that they're not just coming in and having some class with like boring teacher Jill who makes them repeat things because they do that all day in school anyways. Let them have fun. Have fun with them. It's going to make them so much easier. It's going to make, it's going to make them so much more teachable. They're going to be like little sponges and just soak it up and be so excited to come to your classes because teacher, whatever your name is, is like the most fun teacher on Palefish. So here we go. This is how I had a class with one of my students the other day. Panda have a name? What's Panda's name? Panda's name. This is Lucy. This is Lucy. Heart? Hi, Heart! <laughs> All right, are you ready? That was really fun, right? So I did my introduction with her, and then I said, hey, she's got a panda, I've got a panda, let's make our pandas be friends. And I brought the panda into the lesson a couple times, but then when we went to leave and we had to say our goodbyes, it was time to bring the panda in again. And that's what I did. Panda's talking to her panda and she's up here like this with the panda and it was just such a fun class. So now you get to see that. Hey heart, hey heart. Do you like corn? Yes, I do. Do you like watermelon? Yes, I do. Do you like potatoes? Yes, I do. Do you like chicken? Pizza is good. 
is good. I love pie. Do you like strawberries? Yes, I do. Do you like pineapple? <laughs> so this was actually kind of a hard video to film. <laughs> I had to film me doing the class and then I had to go back and I had to film the actual class and then I had to go back and I had to make sure that the student was not in it at any point in time because you don't want your student's face to be shown. So I really do hope that this helped you in some way or shape or form. If you like this video and you want to see more stuff like this, make sure you hit that subscribe and the little bell notification. Ding! Because as much as you love me, I love you like 10 times more. So I want to make sure that I get all this awesome content out to you that you guys have been asking for. And that's all I've got for you today. Goodbye, and I will see you next time. Bye, guys. Goodbye, teacher. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. Bow, bow, bow. I'll see you tomorrow. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye.